I'm Dr. Bob Henry, professor of medicine at the University of California, San Diego, and the director of the Center for Metabolic Research at the VA Medical Center in San Diego. Tonight, we're going to talk about the sodium glucose cotransporter 2 inhibitors. The so-called SGLT2 inhibitors are novel compounds that have been developed to partially inhibit this sodium glucose cotransporter 2 in the proximal tubule of the kidney. Now all of us clear glucose through our kidneys and reabsorb virtually 100% back into the circulation. And individuals with diabetes, when their glucose levels become very high, tend to spill some glucose. But once their glucose levels drop below a mean of about 200 milligrams per deciliter or so, they do not spill any glucose in their urine. These compounds that inhibit SGL2, SGLT2 are designed to increase the glucose excretion in the urine so that uh, the glucose levels in the blood will be reduced accordingly. So if, I, if you're given an SGLT2 inhibitor and you have type 2 diabetes, you will increase the excretion of glucose in the urine in the range of 50 to 100 grams per day. That will translate to a significant reduction in the fasting and postprandial glucose levels and may also lead to improvements in insulin secretion and insulin resistance due to decreases in the so-called glucotoxic uh, effects of high glucose levels. So these compounds have significant potential to add another means of reducing the serum glucose level in people with diabetes, uh, particularly type 2 diabetes, over and above what's currently available. So we may be able to use these alone or in combination. An additional feature of the SGLT2 inhibitors is that because they're increasing the amount of glucose in the urine, it leads to the loss of calories and patients who get these compounds tend to lose weight and significant amounts of weight in the range of two to three kilograms or six or seven pounds in the matter of about three months. So significant reductions, not only in the glucose levels, but in weight as well, augurs well for these compounds as an additional therapy for the management of type 2 diabetes. While their development is early and much needs to be learned, and we need to understand more about these compounds, they are very novel and interesting compounds with a great potential in the future treatment of patients with diabetes. This is Bob, Dr. Bob Henry talking about SGLT2 inhibitors in type 2 diabetes.